So, Josh, you broke a story in The Washington Post. It was April of 2020 about two diplomatic cables from the State Department that warned of safety issues within a Wuhan lab a couple years ago. It's certainly not a smoking gun, the cables, but, but they did warn of risky coronavirus research and bad safety procedures. And that, I mean, if it's not a smoking gun, it's certainly, you know, a whiff of smoke. Right. It's just to say that there have been concerns for a long time about the risky bad coronavirus research that was going on in a series of Chinese labs, including the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And again, that doesn't tell us about the outbreak because those cables were written two years prior. But what it does tell us is that we can't rule out that the lab was involved somehow, so we need to <clears throat> investigate it, which is all that Dr. Tedros is saying, admittedly, a, a year late. And that's all the Biden administration is saying. And Anderson, you were there, I was there in 2020 when the issue of the lab leak theory became highly politicized for a number of crazy reasons, because Trump was using racist terms, because some of the scientists who were close to the lab called it a conspiracy theory to cover their own butts, and because the media really wasn't really sure what to make of all of it in the in midst of the election panic. But here we are in 2021, and it seems pretty clear now that no matter what you thought about the lab leak theory in 2020, uh, it's possible, which means we have to check it out full stop. And now we have the Biden administration just saying that, yeah, they agree with that too. And from all your reporting, what stands out to you as the best evidence that the virus could have leaked out from the lab? Well, uh, first of all, some of it they published and they have admitted that they were using uh, techniques to change viruses that came from back corona uh, bat coronaviruses in order to see how they played in human cells. So that's a piece of evidence right there. Uh, the lack of safety standards are another. Then there's the intelligence that was put out by the Trump administration, but confirmed by the Biden administration. Sick researchers, a secret part of the lab that they didn't tell us about, risky coronavirus research that they're doing with the military in a series of Chinese labs. All of this is not proof. It's not a smoking gun. But what it tells us is that there's enough there that we should check out the labs. And then there's the cover-up, of course, right? Why did they take the virus database offline? Why won't they let anybody into the labs? Uh, why did they censor all the science? Why did they jail all the journalists and scientists who didn't toe, toe the party line? The Chinese government is focused on the labs for a very really good reason, right? The cover-up is, uh, is covering up the labs. So that probably should tell us that there's something to find in the lab. Now, that we don't know. We have to do the investigation. But this whole idea that we shouldn't look into it, I think, is now uh, being rightfully put aside. And the, uh, I mean, the origins of the actual virus itself are believed are, I mean, it's pretty clear it came from a bat, according to, I mean, it, th that's still believed to be correct. Uh, it's just the idea is that they were using or working with the coronavirus in this lab, ex doing experiments with it, and that's how it would have leaked out. Well, there's a lot of different possibilities, actually, right? Some of the scientists think it went through an intermediate host that came through the market. Okay, maybe that's true. That's a possibility. We should check that out, too. Although I would say that the, the scientists have checked out the market theory a lot, searched 80,000, and they never found any evidence that it came from the market, not any hard evidence. But, you know, the bottom line is it could have come to the lab and then leaked. It could have been worked on in the lab. It could have been manipulated, and we might not even be able to tell by looking at it. And scientists, including top virologists, disagree about this point. There is no scientific consensus. Robert Redfield told Sanjay Gupta on CNN he took a look at the virus. He's a virologist. He's seen all the intelligence. And he said it looks like it was manipulated in the lab, that it came from gain-of-function research in the lab. And the New York Times, you know, called him a conspiracy theorist. So this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a lot of unknowns, which naturally causes a lot of confusion. But that's why I say we just have to investigate all the possible theories, which is now what Tedros is saying. Unfortunately, it's not happening. I don't think the WHO has any leverage to get to the Chinese labs. I don't think the Biden administration is using its leverage, although it has it. So there's still a lot more work to be done to actually just investigate both theories, which shouldn't be a controversial thing to say, at least anymore. Yeah, I mean, unless the unless China cooperates uh, and cooperates sort of far more than they they certainly have been, um, unless there's you know intelligence, human intelligence, or some sort of electronic intelligence from that lab, there's no way to know without China's cooperation. Right. Well, I think setting a, a standard of a smoking gun is uh, setting an expectation that's too high. We're not going to find a smoking gun likely in either way, but we're, there's a lot more investigative work that we can do. And of course, the Chinese government is not going to let us into the lab just if we say pretty please. We have to use our national power and influence to bring to bear on the Chinese government to 
you know, pressure them to let us into the lab. And then we also have to investigate our own labs and the work that we were doing. That's what Congress is doing now. And you see Democrats and Republicans now calling for more disclosure of how our government agencies were involved with those labs. It's an urgent matter of national security and public health. Yeah. Josh Rogan, appreciate all the reporting. Thank you.